shine your light in the sky, don't go to it. The bat is dead. Bury it. Consider this mercy. Tell me. Do you plead? Can you hear me? Hey, Doc. You're on. Sorry, nakatulog ako kanina. <laughs> I had a lunch and then sabi ko, maya pa naman kami niya, no? Patulog mula ako. And then, pag-dilat ko, 5.30 na. <laughs> All right. How are Frank? you, Doc? Uh, good. Very, you know, enjoying the quietude of uh, Holy Week. How about you? Okay naman. Okay naman. Konti lang yung, ano, yung bukas ng mga stores today. I was, I was surprised. Parang Dunkin' Donuts yata and McDonald's were open earlier. Pero, open baka, pero baka hindi hanggang... Diba normally hanggang magdamag yun? Baka half day lang. Basta when I went out kanina umaga, some of them were open. Oo. Um, pero yung, ano, yung mga drugstore kasi parang... Mercury. Sa, I think Mercury was open. Uh, I'm not sure. Yung binibida namin na generic TGP was closed. <laughs> <laughs> Then we went to the market na... Prices were so high. <laughs> Being so enough. Yeah. So, uh, we have uh, a few topics to tackle today. Yeah, shoot. I'm excited. <laughs> so, my first uh, question is about uh, artificial intelligence. Yeah. Oh, uh-huh. So ngayon yung ano eh, chat GPT. You noticed ano, before chat GPT, parang ano, when, when people talked about AI, they, they either talk about it in a very academic way mm-hmm. or or it's usually Hollywood. Yeah, mga Terminator. Oh, nga, um, first thing that came to my mind kasi Skynet. Skynet, that kind the of Matrix, thing. The Matrix. The Matrix. <laughs> And then now, Well, it's not yet, like, I don't think it's 100% mainstream yet, but meron ng, ano, like, more real, more tangible, a more tangible, when when people say AI, parang it became more tangible, it's something they can use without yeah. necessarily needing to become, uh, you know, a programmer or a data scientist or what, or an academic. Kumbaga, it, it's, it's, it became... It became closer to kunyari, PCs or 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 uh, cell phones or or even a TV. Parang naging ano na siya, naging down to earth, and I think that's a good sign. Di ba parang uh, we use we should uh, use this as a, a tool to help uh, uh, make our lives easy, but maybe dangerous then. Like, what if? You're you're making a term paper research, then you ask the the AI the question. Oh. Parang, uh, and parang dun, trabahong tamad. <laughs> ah yeah, it can be used to cheat kuno kuno. Um, 
Well, I I think the the fears are not unreasonable. Pero it it shows what little basically what people really know about how a tool like ChatGPT works. Um kasi yung mga you know, pag sinabing GPT, mm-hmm. it means uh gen generative pre-trained transformer, no? So it's a client yung word na generative is important kasi it's a kind of algorithm that produces information mm-hmm. uh, similar to the information that it was trained on. Yung mga iba kasing AI or algorithms, I mean, in the grand scheme of things, mga ano lang yan eh, mga mathematical processes lang yan. Uh, the, the original, or original, the, the classical use of a lot of this math algorithms is in predicting stuff, no? Pero yung output niya is like a, a percentage or a yes or a no. So for example, one one common task sa AI is classification. No? So you feed yeah. it a picture and based on sa mga previous pictures na, na, na train niya, it can give you a, an outcome like this is a picture of a cat or a dog. Mm-hmm. Or uh, an older one is, for example, sa credit, credit cards, no? credit scoring. So you submit your application and then the bank will run your data through a scorecard. Scorecard will give you a credit score or it can give you, it can give a bank an outright approve or a decline. And that's based on past data of borrowers. So parang the simplest way to appreciate it, if you're a bank, you have a, you have a lot of customers. May mga iba nagbayad, may iba hindi, di ba? Mm. So, so the the algorithm will now look for generalized patterns. Wala, ito yung itsura ng mga hindi nagbabayad. Ito yung mga itsura ng mga nagbabayad. So when a new customer comes in, that's what the scorecard checks. Based on sa data mo, it will group you in one or the other and then output the prediction. So so predicting things or forecasting things is usually the use of these algorithms. Now, yung generative AI works slightly differently. Ganun din siya, tinitrain din siya. Pero instead of giving you a, a number or a percentage or a prediction, it reproduces examples similar to yung mga na-train na mm-hmm. data. So, for example, yung nala, I don't know if we, well, we can talk about it later, no? yung concept of a deep fake. Deep fake. Um, um, deep fake is a generative AI process where you train an algorithm on pictures, no? video, pictures, etc. And then, ang gagawin niya, it will replicate examples of what we, what was trained. So, for example, yung, there was these picture uh, videos of Obama completely synthesized by an algorithm. Hindi mo na malaman na fake Obama pala siya. And the input being used to animate the head of Obama was audio, for example. Kunyari, you record a voice track voice. and then and then the algorithm will con- convert that into an image na nagsasalita. So all you need is the audio. Gagawa siya ng totally fake na, na, ano, na video. Kaya deep fake. So itong chat GPT, yung transformer, operates under um, similar premise. No? The, the, the exact nuances are, are different from a deep fake. Pero conceptually, it's similar. So parang you feed it lots of text. no? So... I heard it has billions of parameters. Parang each word is a parameter. And it was fed information from ang dami, uh, Wikipedia, Stack Overflow, Project Gutenberg, yung mga, lahat ng mga open data sets <laughs> of sex. <laughs> ang tagal nun. It took days to train. Pero ang, ang output niya is, given uh, ano, an input, what are the next likely uh, words na pwedeng su- ano, sumunod. No? So it's Tama, predicting words. Ito ba yung predict, predict, ano, uh, predictive words? sa so, so, um, parang gano'n. So uh, yun yung original na GPT. Now si Chat GPT was on top of that pa. No? Mm-hmm. Which is, uh, instead of just providing an input, it allows you to actually ask a question. And then, siya na mismo yung magsusupply ng, ng answer. And I think what makes it groundbreaking from what I understand also. I'm looking, we're doing a lot of research in generative AI ourselves. Eh? 
sa group namin sa company ko kasi we feel na talagang it's a groundbreaking invention. Um one parang two things eh. One was one of the corpuses. Pag sa aming corpus, yun yung parang raw text mm-hmm. na training, no? So apart from all of the text na sinabi nila, one of the corpuses that was fed into ano uh chat GPT was programming languages, no? And that's actually another model called called the you know, Codex, which is, alam mo mga programming languages like C plus plus, mga ganyan, no? mga PHP, oh, yes. mga Python. Parang instead of raw English sentences, ano siya, logic, mga code. Mm-hmm. So, so ChatGPT can actually check if uh, a piece of code works, or it can even write original code based on parameters. Now, I, I think this is significant because. Of course, you have the usual English and other language, mga syntax, no? Pero when you feed programming languages into an algorithm and it learns the pattern of programming languages, para na rin siyang nagkakaroon ng very base logic, no? Like, if this, then that, parang ganun. So, so ChatGPT is capable, yung model niya, of, of executing simple logic. That's one, that's one uh, groundbreaking, ano? Uh, innovation. And then another thing that was done also was before they launched it in the public, mm-hmm. they did what's known as uh, uh, reinforcement learning. Examining reinforcement learning. It's another type of process where an algorithm learns based on ano, uh, based on based on an incentive. Like for example, uh, a popular reinforcement learning model was si AlphaGo. I don't know. I, I don't know if you've heard of that. Yung Go na Chinese checkers uh, game. They trained uh, I know, a model to beat humans in Go. No? And the way it worked was, because if you have a game like chess or Go, may ano yan eh, there, you can score uh, a move based on how how well it was done. So yung scoring ng kunyari, let, let's just say chess. Yung scoring ng moves sa chess, yun yung ginagamit ng, ng AI to train itself na, okay, my goal is to maximize that score. Parang yung ano, uh, there was an- another video game, yung Breakout ata yung pangalan nun, or Pong, where natuto yung AI to play that game to maximize the score. Ito yung, pag piniping-pong niya yung bola to hit a wall, and then yes, every yes, time yes. it hits the wall para, na. Para mawala yung... So yung mga game-based ano modeling, tawag dyan reinforcement learning. So, in chat GPT, nagkaroon din ng reinforcement learning, pero the way they did it was, every time it would produce an answer, they would send it to some human reviewers. So may tao involved. And then humans will rate the answer, whether it's a good answer or a bad answer. Does it make sense or not? So they did that for years, no? Parang tinitrain niya. So ang nangyari, the algorithm wasn't just trained by the data. It was trained by human beings. Parang mm-hmm. inaan mo siya. Uh, in fact, if you use ChatGPT now, you can rate the answer also. Merong up, uh, thumbs up, thumbs down sa interface. Uh, so, in that, that, is, that is used by the algorithm to improve. So, so may control pa yung tao? Uh, mm-hmm. Well, you, uh, uh, more of uh, influence. No? Not necessarily control. So, years later, re-release nila yan in ano, the last quarter of 2022. And the world was never was never the same. Kasi yung concept of a chatbot, tagal naman na yung, matagal na yung chatbot eh, pero the way chatbots used to be designed, uh, they have this thing called a conversation uh, tree. No? So, so pre-scripted na yung possible answers mo. Parang ano, parang tumawag ka sa customer service ng banko or oh, ng, yes. ano, telco. Parang Oh, for deposits, press 1. For cards, press 2. Ganyan, di ba? So, meron ng predetermined path. So, ganun dati yung mga chatbot. Na, hi, hi, how can I help you? Pero may options. Mm-hmm. And then, if you type free form, ang mangyayari normally, pupunta sa totoong tao yun in the back end. Mm-hmm. And they will answer. So, kay chat GPT, they took that to a totally new level. You don't need a pre-scripted uh, parang path. Kasi nga, the algorithm will interpret your question and then supply an output na the transformer will produce. So, pwede ka na talaga mag-reparty with this algorithm. Now, oh, sige, balikan natin yung unang point. Medyo mahaba yung kwento natin. Uh, I think 
because people don't realize na the algorithm doesn't really like reason or understand your question the way humans will understand it. Mm-hmm. All it really does is check. Okay, given this sequence of words, what is the likely sequence of words that can answer that? See, parang ganun eh. So it, it's more of probabilistic answers. Hindi talaga naiintindihan ng algorithm yung talagang essence of what you're asking. Tinitingnan lang niya yung pattern of the words. So it's able to dissect your question and turn it into a, compl- uh, a complex series of tokens. And then looking at yung database niya of pre-trained possible words, ilalabas niya ngayon yung ano? yung answer. And the way it, it produces it, hindi lang siya mga random uh, words. May sequence, may sense. And human beings, yung sense yung, uh, oh, oh, human beings like us, when we see that sequence, naintindihan natin. Yun yung magic dito eh, sa nangyayari. Parang, it, the process is purely uh, mathematical. Mathematical. Pero the way, it, the way we receive it makes sense. No? Siguro a good analogy here is Kunyari, when you see something, no, your your eyes receive light information. Kunyari, I'm mm-hmm. looking at a screen. Okay. Your eyes don't really know what it's seeing. It's just receiving parang photons no, from a from a source. Yung impulses. Na, na uh, so parang inactivate lang niya yung mga portions ng mata mo. And, <laughs> na, and then it's the brain that actually interprets that na, ah, itong sequence na to, that's the color blue. <laughs> or yung know, sequence na yan, that's actually a word. And the word means this. So in a very, very complex way, yung nangyayari kay ChatGPT mirrors that. No? Hindi naman talaga niya talaga naiintindihan yung sinasabi mo or tinatanong mo. Pero somehow, yung linalabas niyang random series of words nagigets ng tao. And that's both impressive and disturbing. <laughs> Kasi, uh, balik tayo dun sa unang point na, so when, when, when people are afraid of chat GPT helping students cheat, or yung worse, yung Hollywood fear na the AI will take over, alam yun, um, that actually parang gives the chatbot too much credit. <laughs> Mga masyado <laughs> yung, masyado kayong believe dyan, and, only because we know yung process niya doesn't include that yet. Actually, tao rin yung gagawa ng problema niya. Oh, ta- tao rin na nagpo-program. Oh, And then, but that's actually a pro- uh, kind of a minute issue in the, in itself. Kasi, although the words in essence don't really mean anything to the algorithm, it's just patterns. No? You can't really predict how humans will react to that pattern. Diba? Lalo na if it's something that triggers emotions, or something. Parang I read an article nga just the other day. Hindi eh. ko lang, hindi ko pa sinishare kasi I have to validate it. Pero parang there's this guy daw who committed suicide mm-hmm. after talking to a chatbot na I don't know if it's chat GPT or yung mga variants. Kasi parang the conversation went to um I can't remember exactly. Pero parang the issue was nalulungkot yung guy about society mm-hmm. and somehow the chatbot convinced him na you're part of the problem. So maybe one one possible solution is for you to end your life. Parang gano'n ang lumabas. That's scary. So, <laughs> oh, oh, did the chatbot <laughs> mean it? Malicious. Para Skynet na yun, ha? <laughs> I doubt it. I, I mean, I doubt it. Yet, ha? I doubt it. I don't see any evidence that it was malicious. Pero that that sequence of words was a possible sequence of words. Siguro, kunyari, you fed it, ano pala? Mga fictional stories, mga scripts from ano, from movies. Uh, possible na lumbas yung mismong sentence na yun. And to maybe the person was suffering from some mental illness, hindi niya nakaya na naniwala siya. So, naniwala siya. Naniwala siya. Naniwala siya. Naniwala siya. So, yun yung open-ended. Tapos, another issue, this is a bit more technical, is in his, in past experience, whenever you have a, kunyari, a mathematical equation, usually, may boundary yan eh. Oh, yes. the lowest this is the lowest level that's the highest level parang parang confidence interval no sa so statistics or parang ganun um or yung concept of a bell curve oh, you know, yes. the the edges are very unlikely you know? yung kaya nga yung expression na six sigma came from that eh, na yung likelihood of a six sigma event is 0.000001 mm-hmm. and that's supposedly the defect rate that six sigma promises na 
your output will be so good, the likelihood of a defect is that small. But at least it's a predictable distribution. You know where it is. Perfect. Oh, medyo ano siya. Some, but it's a bounded thing. Pero itong mga they call it autoregressive no, models. Kasi it learns from new information. Um, you don't know how far where it could really go. We have I don't think we've really scratched the surface. Yeah. Kasi people are learning new ways of how to trigger the chatbot. Yeah, mm -hmm. things like uh can you explain this concept but pretending you're Donald Trump? <laughs> so so yung yung tanong na yon and sasagot siya in the in the tone of Trump no yun ang tanong na yon is unbelievable for me uh, unbelievably complex kasi not only does the the model need to understand or interpret the explain this part so malamang meron yang you know reference no sa model niya na na encounter ko na tong topic na to ito yung ito yung mga ito yung mga nabasa kong text about it and na here's a likely series of words yes. that match that topic. Then the second part, pretending you're Donald Trump. So the model would have needed to know how uh, someone like Donald Trump would, would talk or, or write and then translate yung original text niya into that mm -hmm. in a split second. Ganong kabilis, no? Mm -hmm. So, and then, ano eh, when you interact with chat GPT, you can keep prodding it for more information. Like, explain this. Blah blah blah. Can you explain more? Ah, dadag dag siya. Can you elaborate? Blah 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 blah. Tapos ay, uh, ato na yung malala. Kaya niyang ano yun? Like... Oh, kasi may, parang may short term memory siya of the the recent conversation, so it helps form new connections, um, or at least interprets the new connections. Tayo yung malala. At some point in the conversation, sometimes early, sometimes late, ChatGPT starts inventing things na. Yeah. Kumbaga, it re it's reached the limit of its existing data. Kasi yeah. hindi naman unlimited yung data niya. Algorithm niya. Oh. Pero ang ina-output niya, a likely series of words pa rin. Kasi yeah. yun yung kanyang task. Eh. Pero it may not have anything to do with reality na. Kasi wala na. Kumbaga wala siyang data point that validates it. But it still knows how to write a sentence properly. So ito yung sinasabi nilang ano, phenomena na hallucinations. Okay. Na hallucinate na siya. Meaning, yung, yung, it's, it, it's yung, telling you something that sounds real, pero when you do the fact-checking, mali pala. Okay. <laughs> Ayun. Scary. And sa, and sa akin, I kind of intuitively knew that could happen. Um, and that's why, when I first learned about ChatGPT, diba the immediate uh, parang reaction was it's going to take the place of search engines kasi that's yes, how uh, uh, kasi up until that point search engine yung technology search engine lang yun. and I feel na well unless it's connected to a search engine I don't think it will happen kasi alam ko yung yung release na model I don't know about now but when it really first came out parang the most recent data point was 2021 so it yeah. had no has no memory or it has oh, no okay. knowledge of what happened after. After. Uh -oh. And knowledge is something that evolves. So I felt na malabo yan. Kasi it will probably give you to the extent of what it knows. Beyond that, parang malabo yan. So ako, like ako personally, I don't necessarily rely on chat GPT for kunyari, references sa research. Or, mm -hmm. Kasi minsan fake yung URL. It doesn't exist. Tinanong ko nga siya eh, uh, ano, who runs this particular company? Puro mga fictional names ang lumabas. Talaga? Oo. Or sabi ko, describe me, describe Dominic Ligot. And then yung bio na lumabas, hindi ko kilala. <laughs> so, so the way I think about it, there's probably another person who's, who's similar to me enough that ChatGPT created this composite person mm -hmm. that has nothing to do with me. And then, okay, chat GPT on the one hand, and yan, text yan eh. There's another similar, similarly uh, groundbreaking series of models on the image sa ano naman, generation naman. Oh. You know, stable diffusion or mid-journey. Ito, instead of text, you give it a prompt, ilalabas niya photo or image. Oh, like, I mean like... Ganon what? din yung premise niya, na train siya with various images, siguro may description. So when a new description comes in, 
alam na niya na, ah, give me a picture of a bunny with a, with a ribbon. Hmm. Na-encounter na niya yung word na yan before. Hihilahin niya ngayon yung mga image from from the past. Pero it's not just a retrieval. Kasi pag retrieval, search engine lang yan. Ito, it's completely original image. Pero adapted from from history. No? Kaya, medyo, kaya minsan medyo distorted and medyo weird. And then more importantly, it's now a copyright nightmare. Kasi you can have a piece of art that oh, you yes. generated created before. Posibleng na-train pala siya ni, ni Stable Diffusion or ni Midjourney. And then lalabas is exactly, essentially your work, pero not exactly your work. So lusot siya sa copyright. Uh, pero kinapi yung style mo in terms of art. No? Yun yung problema ngayon. Oh, yun ang problema doon. Yeah. On the one hand, problema siya sa mga artists. But the, on the other hand, sa mga users of images, tontuwa sila. No? Yeah, Kasi yeah. now I have an unlimited source of free pictures that I don't have to pay any royalty for. And the same thing is going to happen sa music. The same thing is going to happen pretty much with any creative output. Meron na nga akong nakitang ano eh. Parang GPT but for interior design. Where okay. you, you type a, uh, ano, a description of a unit. Literally, i-render niya yung, yung 3D model ng unit na sinabi mo. Which can become uh-huh. basis for archie students. Oh. Yeah. So yeah, I mean that's that's the situation now. It's both kaya nga, so both impressive but disturbing kasi I don't think anyone uh many people expected technology to get this good. Okay, it's now science fiction now. You know, we're in science fiction territory. <laughs> oh, oh, you know. Pero sa akin, I I'm happy to be alive during this time kasi it's like the proverbial time nung Renaissance. Which, Hindi, hindi lang yun. Something more recent, yung 19th century, yung coming out of the colonial era. Hmm. daming mga technological innovations noon, yung mga late 1800s, crossing to 1900s. Like, dati, kabayo yung main transport, bigla nag- nagkakotse. Oh. Or dati, gas gas lahat, tapos bigla nagka-electricity. Hmm. Alam mo yun? So, these, these were magical yeah, times. No? Innovation talaga. Oo. Oh, parang if, if you were used to the horse era, suddenly you have a carriage that doesn't have a horse. It looks so, ano, uh, it's, it looks satanic. Parang, wow, how can you get, uh, how can you get a carriage to move on its own? Pero ganun na yung nangyayari. So, parang some people want to go back to that horse uh, kasi gusto nila yung, yung merong ano, stallion. <laughs> <laughs> De, alam ko maraming galit sa cars ngayon because of traffic. Yes, yes. And I think, Of course, I, I I don't disagree cars cause traffic. But I disagree that it's the fault of the cars. I think the cars are a symptom. The uh, real problem is lack of public transport. It's, ano, eh, it's a tool. Eh. Uh, cars are a tool used by man. So, yung may, may fault dyan, yung policies ni man about traffic, public transport. Wala tayong working... Uh, public transport na maayos. Eh. I, mean, like, I mean, that's such an obvious issue, but people would rather attack the symptom. Doon ako yeah. medyo bit question mark. Ito yung sa, sa PNR, I think they'll uh, stop uh, operation for about, matutuloy kaya yun? Five years? Alam mo, ang, ang, anal- ang analogy ko dyan ngayon, we're, we're like a person who needs a triple bypass na sa puso niya kasi super clog na yung mga arteries niya. Alam mo yun? Malapit na siyang atakihin. Hindi na nagpa-function ng maayos. Oo. Nag-gang- <laughs> nagkakagangrene na yung mga duluduluhan niya kasi hindi na gumagalaw yung dugo. So, in the same banana, our transportation situation is just so bad. Nothing short of a triple bypass. Uh, actually, mali nga eh. Nothing short of a heart transplant will work. Kasi yung, yung mga bypass bypass nangyayari na yan ngayon in the form of the skyways and the ano the flyovers. Para pina, pina bypass mo lang yung ano yung problema pero it starts clogging up everything anyway. No? It induces more traffic sabi nga. Ano tayo eh uh, parang ang culture natin parang we're car centric dito sa sa atin, sa I mean all over the country. Hindi hindi dinevelop yung uh, a working public transport. Yeah, I think 
of course, I don't buy too much into the conspiracy theories na sinadraya. I think, let's not forget na we had public transport before World War II. Yeah. We had, we had tramvias. We had trains. And then, World War II was just so devastating na parang yung, in my view, ah, what was a stopgap measure, which is automobiles. Baga, hindi na nabawi yung original ano, legacy. Yung kunyari, Meralco. Meralco used to be the uh, Manila Electric Rail and Light Corporation. Kaya Meralco. Kaya Meralco. Na, na, na-drop yung rail. <laughs> Naiwan yung light. Um, hindi nila binalikan yung, yung tram concept. Whereas, if you go to Melbourne, sa Australia, mm-hmm. the trams are part of major transport. Para siyang train on the streets. Parang ganun ang dating. Kasi major nga siyang gawin. May trucks pa rin dito somewhere in Manila. Yeah, yung mga original PNR. I think uh, pwede pa naman buhayin yun. Pero yun na nga eh. Parang uh, they say it's, it's probably lack of political will. But let's also kind of think about it's a major overhaul. Uh, short okay. of ano nga eh. Kasi kunyari sa ano sa Australia, sa Swiss Australia, yung city of Canberra Mm-hmm. yun yung seat of government. Oh, yeah. Pero yung economic centers nila are actually Melbourne and Sydney. Oh, so yeah. talagang purposely hiniwalay nila yung government. So, so Canberra doesn't have any real life if you live there. Kuno, kuno. <laughs> um, it's a boring place. But that's the capital of Australia. Mm-hmm. It's not Melbourne or, or Sydney. I think ang history naman nun yata is yung mga Victorians, yung mga taga Melbourne, and then yung mga New South Wales, yung mga taga uh, Sydney, culturally compete with each other. So parang unfair daw na to give one the capital. So they put a third capital somewhere in the middle of nowhere. Yun yung Canberra. Pero the, the point I'm trying to make here is, I think nothing short of relocating people na massively will fix it. In fact, it's already happening organically. Marami na. Like ikaw, you live in Region 4A, you don't live in NCR. Uh, marami na rin pupunta sa Region 3, mga Pampanga, Ulonga po. Um, ang suggestion ko nga, I think yung sa Region 3, I mean, people are returning there because they were pinatubo happen. Well, yeah, that was also a blip, pero a glitch that happened. Pero ngayon, it's like, uh, it's returning up and coming. Um, uh, let's face it, NCR, is really the the worst place to put a population center. Kasi geographically, yung itsura ng Pilipinas, ipit yung leeg eh, ng Luzon. Um, That's where NCR is. Yeah. So you can't really expand pa, ano, you'll hit the, either, you'll hit Manila Bay, and that's why the reclamation is happening. Wala na silang choice but to reclaim the bay. Yeah. Or on the other side, you'll hit Rizal, yung mga bundok. No? Oh, so, so wala na. No? So the only way to expand is up and down towards uh, Clark and below papuntang uh, Batangas and Cavite, which is already happening. Pero exactly. for me, ano pa eh, we need to be more radical, meaning uh, we EDSA shouldn't be for vehicles anymore. I think it should be a massive train system. Um, uh, as in like 10 tracks, alam mo yun, gitna, ng, ano, C4. Oh, oh. Tap- Tapos yung parang stop gap is work from home. Kasi nga, yes. parang ngayon, tamo, walang traffic sa daan. Ganyan ang itsura kung lahat ng tao nagtatrabaho sa bahay. Di ba? The only oh, reason we have traffic, a biggest reason we have traffic is people travel. Lots of employers seems to miss the point. <laughs> well, the conspiracy theory ng ilan is kasama yan sa lobbies. Like nung IATF era. Di ba yung parang business representative was si, ano, si Joey Concepcion. And he was the one who insisted we drop the lockdowns, return to office yes, on yes, behalf yes. of the business community. And that was, for me, that's, uh, for me, that's a crime against humanity. <laughs> Kasi, okay na eh, gumagana na tayo eh, work from home. Oh. Pero, pero yun nga, uh, sino mga nagsasuffer nun? Mga retail? Tsaka taxes are still, ano? Flowing. Banks were uh, were digital banking. Sino yung mga talo? Retail, like si Jollibee, laid off 3,000 people yata and shut down 1,000 uh, stores. Yes, yes, uh, yes. Pero naging delivery-based naman sila. 
And then, re- I think the biggest loser is real estate. Kasi uh, companies were canceling their rent. Kasi wala nang nagtatrabaho sa office. So, y- yun, imagine. Yun, yun talaga. I mean, like, who rents uh, big these days, di ba? Kaya nga eh. So, imagine mo itong mga skyscrapers, walang laman. Pero for me, nangyari na rin yan sa, ano, sa US eh. Ang nangyari, they repurposed skyscrapers into residential areas. No? Mm-hmm. Um, It can, it can it can work. I mean, uh, landlords will find a way to recover their losses. Mm-hmm. Yun nga lang, yung rental ng residential, yung kasing task ng commercial. So, naturally, everything. Uh, everything those guys will, <laughs> oh, 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 Those guys will take a hit. Pero in the long run, that's actually better. Actually, yung concept of a central business district, yung CBD, I think is passe. No? Okay. Parang, Parang do, they call it a donut effect. Eh. Everyone's uh-huh. trying to cram to the center uh-huh. in the morning and then the evening everyone's dispersing to the suburbs. Uh-huh. So you create this donut, parang donut effect na yung gitna may, ano, may labas. Uh-huh. And that, the sto- that's the story of the traffic every day. Yun yung ginagawa ng mga tao. And, and that's now on average eight hours a day. Eh. Four hours to get to work. Four hours to go home. I remember the time when I was commuting. Ganon din ang problema. Ever since. Ever since yun. But uh, ngayon, we have uh, uh, skyways. Minutes yeah, minutes. even that. The skyway, I think, is parang ano eh. Um, again, treating the symptom and not the disease. Kasi you do skyways because kotse, di ba? Pero, and actually, getting a car is not easy. So, hindi rin ako na masyadong naniniwala na encourage natin yung sasakyan. Mm-hmm. If ever, we don't penalize it enough. Mm-hmm. And despite the penalties, people continue to get one. Tapos it's it's actually not easy to get oh, one. It's expensive. Nice. You need a license. Daming rules. Pero wala kasing alternative eh. Uh-huh. Look at the alternatives. Find the way. And then, the cars will naturally fade away. Yun ang pakiramdam ko. With a few exceptions. No? Uh, most, most, most drivers are actually commuters. They're just driving to commute. No? Uh, commuters or they're driving to go to work bibihira mas super minority yung mga driving for leisure or driving for the sake of it uh, and then another problem we have pa is many of our consumer services are also based on cars no? like yeah. mga yan yung grab or taxis, taxis or yung mga yung mga two wheels I don't know to some extent that I think that's tolerable yung mga lala move yung mga grab food. Tuk, tuk. <laughs> uh, but but if you eliminate the need to work or the need to travel to work, mm-hmm. wipe out din yung angkas tsaka yung ano. Oh, tsaka wipe yung, out. Tsaka yung joyride. Wala yan. Wipe out yan. No, there's no need for them. Kumbaga, yeah. ano na, public transport will take care of it. And maybe in the long run, that's better. Kasi, gulo eh. Masyado magulo. Ang Pilipinas pa naman doesn't think uh, long run. Diba? Hindi, hindi talaga. It's not our, it's not our, at, no, or at least it's not the attitude of our leadership. Kasi nga, everyone is trying to make the next election happen. I mean, look ah, I mean, um, removing partisan politics aside, I just put it aside. One of our biggest problems before, I think, is the fact that there's no continuance between administrations. Oh, so, yeah. diba? so, GMA undid ERAP, Pinoy and the GMA, Duterte and the Pinoy. And then now, although the jury is still out, I think, Marcos will continue Duterte. Dapat. Uh, although may konting friction na nangyayari, I think. So, that's actually an unprecedented uh, event. Kasi even before ERAP, ERAP and the Ramos. <laughs> so, so, to have a continuance of 12 years, Assuming the policies are consistent, that's, that's what that's what you need. Eh. That's what you need. Para hindi papalit palit or walang or hindi ma udlot and then the next admin will take credit for something and then do something new. Walang you continue. Know, a lot of good things. Uh, the current uh, admin takes credit for, which they did not. Ano, diba? Well, yeah, there's a portion of that, but it it's also I think the large part is there's an aversion to continue something that the previous admin did. May ganun. Like, I know for a fact, yung 
the concept of smart cities, diba? that's something na very futuristic. Everything in a city is wired up. AI is running everything. Data is being collected everywhere. Traffic lights are synchronized. A smart city. Super, super popular yung smart city concept nung panahon ni Pinoy. No. Diba? They were gonna boot up all these smart cities all over the Philippines. So therefore, nung naupo si Duterte and then kay Marcos, anything remotely mentioning smart cities, eh, bawal. <laughs> Kasi, ano yan, hold uh-huh. over from a previous admin. Unless we can rebrand it somehow. No? Uh-huh. Yeah, like, we have to rebrand it. Uh-huh. So, so ganun din, mangyayari. Pag mangyayari, uh, the next election, ma-overturn yung itong sina, no? itong the 31 million uh strong whoever electorate what, what if they vote the other way the, the, the next time <laughs> ano na <laughs> the 31 million sd you know sd card sabi daw uh, <laughs> sd card <laughs> actually we, sh- we should get to the bottom of that comelex yeah. para lang matapos na for me the oh, more you kasi, the more you mag- ignore it para magka closure you know? oh like ah uh, ano ah syempre i syempre I'm, I'm talking out of my head here no but yung issue on the timestamps on the logs no oh, yes there's so many ways to explain that although it is an anomaly it's fishy but there's so many ways to explain that i mean clocks are unsynchronized everywhere no, in the Philippines. Yeah, especially so, here so i mean that's certainly an area to investigate but i wouldn't call that a smoking gun per se no so <laughs> masyado tayong ano, nag-overreact. Pero kung ako, ilabas na lang yung logs para makita. Yeah, na. Yeah. I mean, like, the more they hide uh, the logs, the more uh, the more suspicious people get. Yes, the more suspicious it will be para may oh. tatago sila. Diba? Ako, ilabas. Kasi that's the, sabi nga nila, sunlight is the best disinfectant to be yung expression. Just show it out. Tapos kung mali, di nga nga. <laughs> so, ano mangyayari dyan, di ba? I-accept na lang na nalalo talaga by lies. Yeah. Lang. Tsaka, at the end of the day, what what will happen? Somebody will have to file an electoral protest. Mm. I mean, if the opposition, whatever's left of it, had any real evidence. I don't think there's an opposition left there. You know, they would have filed it by now. The fact ah, na wala. Meron. The fact na, ma- na wala, wala talagang opposition. Wala opposition. Or walang... An- I mean, kahit na it's a new opposition, anything, power yan, eh, di ba? You oh, forget power yan. By any means. Like, so, may vacuum talaga yung political landscape natin. Man. Yeah. Wala lang, ano. Or for a change, suddenly people are united, no? Everyone's so united. That's uh, something to think about then. <laughs> I don't see pa rin yung un- un- unity kasi like, <laughs> nakita ko ngayon yung Bardubulan sa Twitter sa Twitter. <laughs> Pinadita ni Elon Musk yung logo ng Twitter. Yeah, and then did you find the original context of that back in 2021? Oh, parang yeah. parang nagkahamunan yata as a joke na yeah, yeah, yeah. you should you should just buy Twitter and then change the logo to Doge. To Doge. And then sabi ni Elon, that would be sick. Oh. <laughs> and then so, nung ito na nga nangyari, hinatak lang ni Elon yung ito na, as promised. As <laughs> Nagulat talaga ako. Like, it's surprising. Like, what is a dog doing uh, in Twitter? I think he's just trolling yung critics niya eh. Na parang, oh, kung ayaw niyo dito, di alis kayo. And then, true enough, hindi naman sila umalis. Hindi nga sila umalis eh. <laughs> di ba? Yung ang ano eh, di ba there was a moment na everybody seemed to want to go to Mastodon. Tapos ngayon, wala nang gumagamit sa Mastodon. Parang labo din. And palagi doon nagbe-breakdown ng Mastodon. <laughs> oh my. Tingnan ko nga yung Mastodon ko kung meron. Or Mastodon social yata. Mastodon.social. I don't know. Tapos, uh, ano ba? Uh, Are you want, di ba you wanted to talk about AI then? Huh? After... Uh, yung mga the most I think the most recent issues issues na ngayon is schools are now challenged to you know uh, change their curricula 
because of chat GPT or ban it. For me, a ban it. Um, yeah, tama. Ano yun eh? Essentially, cheating yun unless the the student knows how to ano, uh, change yung wording nung, nung tinatanong nila sa report nila. I, I think for me, syempre, we shouldn't encourage any cheating. Yeah. Pero yung tanong tanong dyan is, bakit the curricula or the way we teach students deserves a review na? No? Mm. Kasi a lot of this pedagogy dates back to the 19th century is essentially. No? And the thought of 19th century methods still being used to teach the children of the 21st century for me does feel somewhat wrong uh kasi nga knowledge by definition should evolve so i don't know syempre problema dapat ng ano yan mga schoolahan yan but maybe sometimes we have to lead the way sa mga schools kasi uh, during the pandemic we have uh, bawal magbagsak na man eh. oh remember oh. so the kids were i don't know they were encouraged to uh cheat actually lalo oh. pag, pag online yung exams may may papasok sa dun sa link like uh Google Meet or what whatever uh program was used for the exams oh. And, uh, ano lang magpapakita lang dun without answering correct oh. tapos Nag-screenshots. <laughs> Huli. <laughs> it happened for about three years. Tama ba? Oo, oh, tama. During the, no? During the lockdown, hanggang, actually, sa PUP, up to this SEM, itong bagong SEM, coming na SEM, uh, face-to-face na, nag-start na sila. But, dahil pa sila dati nung, ano, nung high school, elementary. Dahil, uh-huh nag face to face na sila last year pa yata. Oh. Eh isa pa niya, isa pa diyan is yung nature of work I think is about to it's already been changing for years. Mm-hmm. I think it's about to change radically kasi mm-hmm. there's already early examples eh. like for example uh web development, software development. Uh uh-huh. um most who do web dev are actually freelance web developers now. Mm-hmm. Although you still have like uh you know um mga employed developers. Mm-hmm. A, a huge chunk are actually freelance. And when you're a freelancer, your credentials are your is your past work. They don't care if you're a college graduate or mm-hmm. ba, master's degree ba, for that job it's just enough na you've done it before and you can show your portfolio. Ganun eh. So, I think that's where we're headed. Where mga, I would say, commodity skills are more important na than ano pang ibang tinuturo sa school. And incidentally, mm-hmm. that's one category of knowledge that I feel will survive ChatGPT. Kasi ChatGPT is actually a good tool for freelancers. It's a good way to brainstorm ideas. You can get an instantly a list of things that you need. So it's not necessarily like, rip. you know, I need to write something and ChatGPT gagawa for me. But maybe ChatGPT can give me a, an outline of what I can write about. Parang ganun. But I'll still write it myself. Pero the fact that I could instantly generate a list of things that can be used by, you know, by me and my job. Yun yung importante. And although may mga may nakita akong report just recently sa Samsung, I don't know if you saw that. No? Mm-hmm. Na Samsung engineers were using ChatGPT to basically, I don't know, help them with internal decisions. And they were copy-pasting sensitive information on the prompt, not realizing na kinakapture ni ChatGPT lahat yon. So ngayon, Lahat ng mga trade secrets ng Samsung is already out there in the Ooh. open because of the, the employees. So, warak na warak. So, now they have a problem. Kasi na-leak That's na a big yun. problem. That's huge. And oh. naiva, 
So yun din, isa pa tao na naman ang problema dyan. So parang who stopped, who knew about that and who could have stopped the developers or whoever you know, using chat GPT. No? Um, yeah. It's a, it's a brave new world pagdating sa ganyan. Oo oh, nga. Okay. Like, everything ano, uh, is totally new. Yep. But uh, if you think about it, everything is still classic old. <laughs> diba? Yeah. Okay. Ministahan ako ng topics natin yung joke. Eh. Sige, go. Shoot lang. Ano pa bang, <laughs> ano, after AI, anong sumong pag-usapan? Uh, after AI. Pusa ba tayo sa AI? Hindi pa, di ba? Hey, anything goes. Ikaw, what are your mga personal I'm reservations or I don't know, questions about AI? Because of uh, science fiction. <laughs> sa AI, Yeah, I mean, it can start there naman eh. Ang, I, ang I importante that. lang, we ano, we bring it back to earth pag we're talking ano, na real life issues na. Di ba may saying sa, sa Latin na ano, cogito ergo sum. Mm. I think therefore I am. Mm. Yun yung definition ng sent, sentient being. Yes. If uh, an AI suddenly thinks, di ba? The, therefore, ganun ka simple lang yan which is yeah. uh, I mean certainly that's a that's an that's a possibility pero yun nga eh, um the, an application is only as good that, as the parang functionality or freedom that you give it so if uh, if people uh, if people connect chat GPT to something important like mm-hmm. I don't know guns <laughs> then then you have to worry na kung paano yun. how does that how does that So so may phone in question dito. Oh. <laughs> Thrown in <Yeah>. question. <laughs> Is AI beneficial to uh invest to what, what? investors sa financial. Yeah, actually even before ChatGPT, marami ng mga applications na AI driven are being used in finance. Like like ako, I I came from a finance background. So my two most parang i think the two points in my career that parang cemented my career towards data mm-hmm. were were finance related the first was in capital markets mm-hmm. uh very very early on i was involved in designing uh trading systems no for mm-hmm. equities and foreign exchange basically creating rules yeah. no? kailan ka bibili kailan ka bibenta uh-huh. and machine learning din yon you have to figure out what's a good setting for these uh parang buy or sell signals so algo trading was my first introduction to big data mm-hmm. and malaking bagay yan in any market lalo na ngayon dati kasi markets moved i think relatively slower ngayon everything's electronic everything has to move uh split second If you don't have an algorithm watching your positions, you can get really hurt no, in the market. Um, and your profits will be very limited. Um, so that's one. The other one naman was yung kanina yung sinabi ko, yung credit scoring. So I was involved in building models for for credit card borrowers, for mortgage borrowers, for mm-hmm. personal loan borrowers as part of a lending business ng bank. And uh, actually, ang credit scoring... All, uh, although it looks at default rates no, to score people, actually what the, the the first benefit it has in a bank is to shorten the approval process. Mm-hmm. Kasi kung, kasi kung ka ng statistical tool that gives you the probability of a default for an application, then you don't have to waste as much time you know, doing credit investigation, sending people to wherever. Parang pwede mo na i-filter yan. Na, ah, kung yung likelihood niya to default is so low, Huwag na natin i-check yung mga parts na yan. Just, ver- just validate kung tama yung info and good na yan. Nice. Pero yung mga medyo dubious, yan yung medyo gastos yeah, na naman. Gastos na naman. <laughs> Oo. So anong e- effect nun? Instead of spending 100% on credit investigation, baka you only spend 25% pala. 30 because the applications that you evaluate aren't as many. So yun, immediate benefit yun. Operational expenses. And then later down the, right, the line, assuming the model was accurate, bababarin yung bad debts mo. So... So those are issues that banks mm-hmm. use AI. Bad for. Bad uh, reducing losses and co- uh, controlling costs. No? 
And on the marketing side naman, any company, lalo na in social media, AI is being used to target customers. Actually, that's the the Facebook business, micro-targeting. Mm-hmm. Pero yun din yung nagiging challenge kasi to do micro-targeting implies na they have access to your private information. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Purposes. Something I'm learning with that. Parang uh, nakaparanoid yun mo. Oo, oh, nakakatakot talaga. Kasi, I don't know if you've, if you've experienced this, ah, pero you try chatting to someone online, Facebook or whatever, mm-hmm. or just tweet something or post something. Let's say, uh, I bought a new pair of sneakers or something. Mm-hmm. Or may kausap ka, kumbaga nag-comment ka dun sa another person talking about sneakers. Before you know it, puro sneaker ads na yung laman ng ano mo. No news oh, feed mo. <laughs> pop up na, di ba? <laughs> oh, oh. Kasi nga, they're scanning all of your information, checking, ah, mukhang may balak bumili to ng, ano, ng sapatos. It can really get that creepy, yung ano nila, algorithm nila. Tapos, uh, meron pa, uh, concerning din sa ano pa, sa sort of AI, oh. yung sa elections. Are you for Uh, manual or electronic? I think ang problem natin is the transparency. Pero going back to manual, I think opens up more problems. Yes. Um, number one, it took forever to count those votes. Naalala mo nung panahon ng ano. The, actually, we were on manual until until Pinoy, di ba? I think Pinoy was the first. Or GM. Uh, manual pa yun. Hanggang dun. Oh. Or hybrid. Yeah. And It's it kaya ngayon nung natapos agad yung election after 24 hours Everyone's people were so shocked. <laughs> Sa akin that's uh, absolutely to be expected. Ang tanong na lang is kung merong way to tamper the data. Yeah. I think yan yung hindi pa ma-resolve. Pero kunyari it's very transparent. Everyone can see the votes coming in. Uh and you know. Ano kasi I don't think there's a way of questioning it pag ganun. There was this case kasi na na nag nag shift yung bigla eh transparent siya before, to a point tas biglang may, may nangyari oh yes, correct yes. parang hello ano ano to no. kaya oh. i can't fault kasi yung ano yung those who, who wants uh a return to manual uh, voting pero We won't ano yun. Hindi tayo magpo-progress pag ganun. Diba? Yeah, tsaka, yun nga eh. It, I think it's the same people who are also looking to ban chat GPT. Diba? Oh, yeah. Uh, yung parang aversion <laughs> towards technology. Kasi nga, admittedly, up until recently, these technologies were unreliable or they had mistakes. And and napakatakas ng, ano eh, I would say, standards ng mga tao. They want something they can rely on 100%. Which is actually what counter to what the nature of the AI scene is. Everything is probabilistic. You're looking at likelihoods. And, and there's always a chance of an error. No matter how small, mangyayari, mangyayari. Yeah. Mga engineers know that better. No? Lalo yeah. mga like Six Sigma and you know, project management skills. They know na, okay, if this is the expectation. Kailangan may buffer tayo para hindi tayo nangangarag. Uh, pero on the surface, yung trabaho nila looks so reliable. Oh, these bridges don't collapse. <laughs> these buildings are still up and running. Yes. You know, traffic is still flowing. Kahit na super bagal. So people assume na walang naging ano yan, mga malabong errors yan sa likod. Pero actually marami. Remember yung Y2, Y2K scared, diba? Yeah, remember Everyone that. Everyone scared na mag- magsishat down yun para tayong escape from LA. <laughs> I think why 2 k was a was a legitimate fear. Yes. Pero yun nga, hindi naman nagre-reset yung mga clocks at 2,000. Oh. Contrary to what people Contra- thought. Oh. Maybe really old computers did, but the newer ones hindi. But mm-hmm. still, you know, I think many people made money from that era. Yung mga nag y 2 k assessment. Yeah. So, laking kita yun. No? Kasi Saka, na companies didn't know any better. Madaming kulto uh, nag nagborn. So many thoughts are born because ano yun, a doomsday <laughs> scenario. Correct, correct. Correct. And yeah. yun nga, ignorance is driving the fear against AI now. Same banana. Parang we're, we're worried it's going to take over. 
pero we can't define what takeover means no parang yeah in the same way cell phones have taken over but cell phones aren't there to kill us pero maraming mga namamatay na nagse selfie <laughs> so you could argue oh, na they're like they're not diba, may mga ganun, mga fatal they're selfies selfie no. or overcharging yeah kasalanan ba nung phone yon I mean, <laughs> not diba disiplina na siguro na lang ng tao na okay don't have phones nearby unless you're uh, at work and it's also good to train uh, children that no para hindi sila na dati <laughs> uh, next topic do uh ito okay. tayo sa ano holy week reflection mm uh kamusta yung holy week mo very quiet um i'm not uh you know i'm not into the rituals as much as I used to be. Mm-hmm. Like, I remember when I was young, automatic yan, may bisita iglesia, automatic yan, meron, ano, uh, prayers. Nowadays, we just stay home and binge on Netflix or something like that. <laughs> um, uh, yeah, so otherwise, I enjoy it. I actually, I enjoy the fact na wala, wala masyadong kotse sa daan. Yeah, so, at ina napansin ko, sabi ko, this is... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, for me, it, it makes, parang it's a no-brainer. Work from home ang mandatory dapat. Para, para yan yung normal natin. Para yan power. yung normal natin. Yun. And then then you can afford to shut down EDSA and fix it, turn it into a train set, station na, you know, but people will not worry too much kasi yeah. their livelihood is no longer dependent on their mobility. Yan yung problema ngayon eh, Naka, naka-interlock yung trabaho mo and your ability to move around. That's an injustice, I think. Yeah. But your your earning capacity should not be disparaged by your ability to get to a physical location. Unless you're a performer, and you're going to perform there. Pero anything short of that, wala eh. it doesn't make sense to be moving people around. When I was a kid, uh, I mean, I was a kid. I was a kid. I was a kid. The streets, flogging, Pero, ah, okay. Parang yung friend natin sa Tarlac <laughs> is uh, really pissed. <laughs> Why? Like some one week event. Pero yeah. dito, everyone is uh, okay lang. Parang wala na yung religiosity dito sa Bagbag. Na. Yung iba nagpapapako pa. Meron kayong ganun? Yes. Papapako yeah. sa Cruz. Parang sa Bingan. Pero mm-hmm. ayun. Why would, you, why would you why would you mutilate your body for your religion that doesn't make sense <laughs> pero nga when you say it that way now offend the mga religious people so yes insulting their insulting their uh, your uh, practice nila ah, may nag tweet nga eh um alam mo yung yung meme na there's a guy that's maraming espada para oh. ano tweet a religious view that would get you into this position and then sabi ko, kasi a long time ago, I used to debate yung mga, mga free thinkers. And usually yung mga in-arrange na lang debate, oh, agnostics versus atheists versus theists. Ganyan. So ako, kasi parang for a long time, nagsasawa na ako sa mga agnostic tsaka atheist. Kasi, syempre, naman ma- you either believe it or you don't. No? Parang, so, I, so I started adopting a theist perspective, pero not the usual perspective. So I'll say, sige, I'll take the theist position. And syempre, lahat sila ready-ready makipag-away sa mga theist kasi they have all of their arguments about how the Bible is wrong, ganyan-ganyan. Eh, yung sinabi ko, sige, I'm gonna assume that the creator of the universe is an evil god. <laughs> Wala silang masagot. Kasi sabi ko, I can explain everything in the universe. Because the god is evil, you can have good happening as a joke and then evil can exist. Kasi evil yung God. Wala siyang pakialam sa inyo. Di ba? You're trying to... Kasi yun yung mga isa sa mga natural arguments against theism. Di ba? Yung, the problem of evil that's been around. Oh, so yun, yun, yun yung pinapwestiyon nila. Eh. Oh. Ako, I, I don't have a problem with evil because e- the God is evil. <laughs> so, so, naturally, evil can exist. Now, ang problema nyo, if ini-insist nyo yung good, marami kayong papaliwanag. I usually win that debate. <laughs> Ganyang ano. Pero these days, parang, uh, I don't think there's much point to it. I think it's more about 
morality and ethics. It's all about morality. Ito. Yeah. Saka, Whether you get your morality from, you know, clouds <laughs> or wherever, or or your religion. Bottom line is... Or, or conscience. Do you treat, do you treat people well? Diba? Parang, actually, yun yung argument naman ng mga theists against the atheists. Na, wala kayong God. Where do you get your morality? And I feel naman it's quite quite a quite legit, a shallow legit argument. Legit um, parang I you know you can be, believe in whatever Abrahamic God you want, mm-hmm. but and still be a horrible person. So hindi siya hindi siya inseparable. Bakam may mga ma offender. I mean all those guys who were who were flogging themselves, thinking they would be saved by that. Eh, within one year, kaya nga nila ginagawa yung self-mutilation. <laughs> Just they oh, want... a, I think it's tradition. You oh. know. Um, here's a cool idea. What if one day we already have independent robots na can reason and think, pero robot pa rin. Mm-hmm. Will people end up using them for religious purposes? sa na sila yung ipapako sa cruise sila yung papatayin alam mo yon just to reenact the last supper uh, of course the other side of the coin is uh baka later on we get robo prostitution di ba may mga movies na ganoon di ba <laughs> something that ano parang yun yung susulat ni Neil Gaiman ni Arthur and Neil Gaiman and yung mga classical ano William Gibson yung mga cyberpunk authors I- Isaac Asimov Isaac Asimov uh, I think it will be one of the first applications of robotics creating uh, uh you know automated prostitutes where and I I can already predict how they're going to sell it you don't have unwanted pregnancies you don't have STDs actually diba? lagi plotline yan sa comic dito nung 70s oh. yung Tomac one oh. man Permitor, yung first yung first issue noon was uh, yung Vida, si Buddy Black, was working at a factory na gumagawa ng uh, sex dolls. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I think there, there, I read an article about this company or I think it's a mining company in China. Mm-hmm. And syempre, yung mga miners nila are away from their families for extended mm-hmm. periods of time. Mm-hmm. They're supplied with love dolls that are so lifelike. So life-like. But keep them from going nuts. <laughs> Ganun. Bigyan mo ng ano. Uh, and actually, that begs the question then later, will humanity finally kill itself because, uh, you know, fertility rates, childbirth yeah. suddenly drop dramatically. I mean, like, it's happening today. Yeah, pero by then talagang we're beyond replacement level. Yung sinasabi nila na there's a population growth that can replace mortalities. Mm-hmm. Below that level, negative population growth ka na, ang hirap nang ibalik. Oh. Uh, that's why some European countries are you know, negative population growth. Tatanda na lahat ng tao. Japan is another example. Japan, ganun, di ba? So, and that will finally end the human race kasi wala na. Wala nang new stock of humans replacing uh, old humans because everyone's busy screwing robots no there's no <laughs> there's no replication happening oh, no. imagine that that's a big problem yeah. could be a big problem <laughs> and then later we might end up outlawing robo prostitutes anyway because of that oh, parang yeah. June, you know we start uh, eradicating them for taking ano and then and then you'll have cases where human beings have already fallen in love with their artificial lovers. <laughs> and, and it starts a civil war. Ano yung mga ganang concept? Di mo masabi eh. Baka we might live long enough. There, there are plot lines like that sa, oh. in uh, movies and uh, di ba? Actually, sa Matrix, yung Animatrix, that, that happened yes, in, tama na, tama. dun sa earlier, di ba? The, the second renaissance, sabi nga nila. The, nagkaroon ng robot rebellion. Yes, Kasi nga, yeah. there was a... There was a outrage and um, just a backlash against robots because they were more efficient than humans. Okay. They were taking jobs. They were taking prostitution. Lahat, you know, wipe out na ng mga robots kasi nga efficiency yung habol nila. 
and humans started feeling attacked. So they started killing the robots. And then yung robots naman were already sentient enough to start to defend themselves. Yun yung beginning ng ano, ng gera. And then natalo yung humans. <laughs> Ginawang battery yung mga tao. <laughs> yung mga, kaya nag, kaya nag matrix to keep them docile while they're actually being sucked of their energy and stored in batteries. No? Mm-hmm. Sabi ko, what a concept. Grabe. <laughs> concept Grabe. Grabe. So speaking of sci-fi, did you watch the latest episode of The Mandalorian? Ay, hindi pa. Season 3? I haven't, I haven't seen. I haven't seen the, the entire season. Medyo, Actually, I'm, I'm, an, I'm anticipating it. Isu dun sa latest episode. Oh. Ang guest dun is uh, Jack Black, si Lizzo, kung alam mo si Lizzo, Uh-oh. tsaka si uh, Christopher Lloyd. Okay lang ba ma-spoil ka? <laughs> okay lang. Wala namang problema. Wala namang. But I haven't seen it, no? Uh, ang issue dun was uh, may, may malfunction yung mga robots. Somehow, they were not acting the way they should be. So, okay. So but they, it's part of the plot or it's a plot hole? Part of the plot. Part of the story. Kasi they were uh, si Dean Jaren and uh, Bo Katan were was uh, looking for uh, yung mga Mandalorian, yung tribe ni Dukatan. Yeah. The, nandun sila parang protector. They were hired to be protector of this planet. So sila, siyempre si Dean, tsaka si Bo, uh, dumir- dinerecho nung, nung uh, those in charge ng planet to the king and queen. Oo. Uh-huh. Which is Jack Black. <laughs> Lizzo. <laughs> Galing, ha? Oh, after that, di hinahanap nila yung cause. Meron silang... Uh, Christopher Lloyd was the one who, who programs the... The robots. The robots yes. Uh, para maging ano, functional. Kasi mga battle droids to. Remember the battle droids sa... sa Attack of the Clones. Attack of the Clones. Sa uh, Revenge of the Sith. Oh, tsaka yung ano, season 2 ng Mandalorian. Alam mo, I hate how they made the battle drones parang comic relief back in the day. Mm-hmm. I mean, if you stick to the Star Wars lore, those were killer robots. Talaga. Yes, totoo something, yan. Something They're, to be feared. No? So, Pero ginawa uh, silang comic relief, nakakainis. Na, na ano nga yun? Yung they were, they were used... So, discover nila si Christopher Lloyd yung nag-program, tinuli siya. Oh. Like, then, uh, his reasoning was uh, wokeness. Ang <laughs> issue. So, so that's why the, uh, the, the viewers were, uh, were shocked, shocked, wow. shocked infu- infuriated. Dahil doon sa issue na yun. I mean, oh. I was watching it naman, sabi ko, buti na lang, I watched the episode with the no politics in mind. <laughs> <laughs> Kaya mahirap din eh, parang, I don't know, I don't think woke is, syempre, we can talk about that then, no? but um, that's, a, that's probably another hour altogether. Pero, I think it goes hand in hand with social media. I think being woke and social media fits so well together. Because now you have this virtual megaphone to complain about anything. Complain about anything. And you can instantly get followers who believe in the same twisted things you believe. And the nature of the algorithms is to generate engagement. Oh. Nothing generates engagement more than hate and controversy and disinformation. So, and that goes hand in hand with the woke agendas. Whether they're the victim of disinformation or the cause of disinformation, and na. No? And, kaya when I see mga, mga barda, barda gulat sa, no, sa Twitter, I, ha- I, you know, I, sometimes I feel na, yan, yeah, dinalaro na tayo ng AI ng social media. Yeah, so, oh. we're being pitted against each other, and 
dapat may self awareness tayo to see if it's happening to just quit sorry I'm not gonna engage Tapos may mga iba tao ako nakikita just to ignore them they enjoy the trolling they enjoy oh. trolling each other they enjoy trolling the trolls and I'm just wondering you're becoming an agent of this matrix no this this matrix is designed to make you hate and attack and other people watch it create an audience they, they enjoy it yeah, yeah and it it triggers an interesting part of your brain no mm-hmm. yung dopamine rush mm-hmm. Kasi, mm-hmm. actually everyone everyone feels that Kunyari, when you when you post something and someone likes it or retweets it you feel this validation na oh yung galing parang people believe me alam mo yun pero hindi i don't think i don't think some of them don't even really care what you said some of them nakikiride lang alam mo yun so very fake yung mga emotions na nararamdaman natin on social media. Yung pakiramdam ko. Ang pakiramdam natin po. <laughs> yeah. Just like this issue again with uh, another issue with James Gunn. Uh, end game niya is uh, Marvel versus DC. Oh. Yun. <laughs> I mean like, hello? Ay yung crossover. Yes, yeah, crossover. Plano pa lang, end game pa lang yan. Okay, right? Uh, although yung uh, DC fans, uh, actually Snyder fans ang nagre-react. Mm. Meron kasing section ng DC fans yung labeled as real DC fans. Real. Eh, may pa Snyder fans lang. Uh, that loves everything guns doing. Pero it does not uh, translate to the box office. Saan ba unang sumikat si James Gunn yung ano, Suicide Guardians Squad? Guardians of the Galaxy. Ah, Guardians. Uh, well, the Suicide Squad uh, was a uh, major flop. Yeah, okay. which one? The first one or the second one? No, 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 the second one. The second one. The second one. The, actually, we retcon na rin yun. Eh. Oo. Uh, hindi ba nila yung kwento eh, di ba? Uh, like, it's his first ano, uh, DC work. Aha. Uh-huh. Somehow, it flopped. Umalya, no? Umalya yun. Although, ang reason na for flopping was uh, the pandemic. Yeah. Was... But, uh, that doesn't explain Black Widow that came out the same year. Yeah. Ganun siya nag-flop. So, it's James Gunn. <laughs> yeah, I feel na there is something. Yeah. Okay. Something off. Pero I I also think kasalanan na rin ng social media yan eh. Parang like dati before you had Twitter, what kind of anticipation would you have if trailers start coming out? The only place yeah. to see the trailers are in the movie house anyway. No? Before. Uh, Tatsaka yung ano, you remember the shows in the celebrity show. Papakita lahat ng trailer ting Sundays. Ah <laughs> uh, yeah, you're right. No? So... <laughs> Yeah. Meron trailers, you know, movie in the making. I enjoy those. <laughs> Sunday. So, yun, may, ano talaga, may genuine excitement. Uh, Ngayon, ipapalabas yung trailer sa YouTube and then people already lambast the movie way in advance. Um, di ba? Without considering, ano. Everyone's oh, a basher. No. Kaya bigla yung, di ba, yung Rotten Tomatoes. Ah, uh, yes. Biglang sumikat yun eh. Kasi people now judge a movie based on the Rotten Tomatoes score. Yun lang yung ano. Importante. Yung yun, ano, parang may backlash against Rotten Tomatoes because uh, based on their critic scores, tapos based on the audience scores, ang layo ng dis- disconnect yun. Eh. Oh, correct. correct. Not unless yung kagaya ng the new Ben Affleck movie yung air hmm. uh, hindi pa yata pinapalabas dito yun. the story of the Chicago Bulls ah okay hindi yan yung Netflix documentary ah hindi hindi ano yun yung uh, air the air movie oh. 99% audience quote tsaka critics quote <laughs> grabe Nama. that's good I don't know Yun. So, okay, so ano, you want to save some topics for the next episode? 
Uh, sure. Dapat tugtungan natin yung mga controversial na ano. Oo oh, nga eh. So, ang, ang plano ko sana ano para i-recap natin yung discussion from last time but uh, okay na na-recap naman eh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. There's still more to be discussed certainly no. Yes. Uh I was told we're more than ano ngayon. Da- last time was an hour. Uh-huh. Now we're more than an hour. So good. <laughs> yeah, yeah. All in all and, just, and more to come. Ah, uh, yes. Open naman yun na. This is a good discussion for today. And, we should uh, also start uh, addressing questions from the audience no? kung meron mga tanong. Sana. Oh. We can, we can, uh, Maybe we sh- you should ask them, okay, a- anyone watching this now, please comment ano man, on what we should talk about in the next episode para makapag-prepare tayo. Uh, Alright. Well, maging interactive. Uh, more interactive. Oh. Uh, uh, Actually, time. I plan to launch, relaunch a series of videos and podcasts myself. Mm-hmm. I was doing podcasts on that. Yeah. Ililink ko yung podcast mo din dito sa ano natin. Yeah, yeah. Um, siguro in the next one to two months, may makikita na kayo. Kasi, ay, one thing we didn't talk about, but we probably will talk about in the next one, is yung nangyari sa akin with Refocus. I think people might be interested to hear about. Pag-usapan natin yan the last time, yung ano may meron bang updates doon ah uh, well it's may counting update pero i think it's better to save it para okay. hopefully by the next chat ano na ta, it has been resolved hopefully it will be hopefully. resolved and i learned a lot from that i from that episode from that ano exercise no na other people should be should be aware uh, on all sides no like syempre if people start using your face without your permission Uh, literally they're stealing from you diba? but then on the flip side you can see also the pressures of mm-hmm. you know yung in this, lalo na sa data analytics mm-hmm. there's a huge pressure to skill up and look credible and at the heart of that is itong refocus na to daming pwede pag-usapan but, yeah. but we'll see, I, think, I think we should save it for the next one para tama, tama. Pero juicy <laughs> <laughs> para ano para magkakaroon ng excitement. Yeah, certainly. <laughs> Definitely. All right. So, the doc, uh, thank you again for doing this with me. <laughs> yeah, And, thanks for having me. Sana hindi na bore yung mga tao watching us. <laughs> uh, the last uh, the last uh, podcast was uh, 82 views. So, for a first episode that was uh, eh, sabi nga nila, just keep posting content. Don't post content because of the likes. Uh, yeah. Post it because you want to post it. Like uh, ako, I don't care if people watch this or not. But mm-hmm. I like talking about, uh, you know, the mga ganyan, mga AI and uh, interesting, interesting stuff. And then eventually, the audience will find us and then now we can interact with them. So I'm looking forward to interacting with mga viewers. Anyway, so Doc, um, uh, Till next time. Yep. Thank you very much. All right.